So that's so interesting. Mabel in New York wanted to play a game with me. So how can I say no? We are playing Never Have I Ever with Mabel in New York. Stick around. Hi guys, this is Valentina Jiri and today, judging from my outfit, I'm wearing my mother's very pretty pink sari and this black blouse that I ordered from Amazon. We did this DIY thing where I put a knot to make it fit. Now I'm the girl who has 5,000 boxes but somehow I don't have a single blouse to wear on a sari. Question number one is, did I ever do my makeup without primer? Now I've done my makeup without primer a bazillion times. When I do my daily makeup, I skip the primer whatsoever. I just, I just pay attention to skincare a lot. I use serums, I use oils, I use moisturizers. I never ever use primer. I uh, no primers don't fascinate me. So yeah, I prep my skin with some good serums. This is vitamin C serum. Now you don't have to put it like that. Always take it on your palm and press it in. But for the for the video, we are doing it like this. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Okay. And obviously we are covering the neck. Oh my god. Now skincare is something that turns me on, you guys. It's a problem. I'm using some moisturizer. Not a lot of it. And then rest of it goes on my hands. Did I ever use the wrong shade of foundation you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand i started wearing foundation in 2016 and from whole 2016 to 2017 i just had my mother's foundation like only my mother's makeup i did not have my own products and she looks like that she's literally the fairest person i've ever seen in my entire fucking life and then in mid 2017 i got my cute ass together and bought a foundation named Fit Me from Maybelline. My shade is 322, but I have a whole range of all the shades because I do makeup for pre-weddings and uh, bridals and everything. So yeah, I have a whole range. So here is 310 and 330. I'm going to mix these both. I love that the new foundations come with this pump. All the old ones come without the pump, like this just really hard like you just have to thump it every time one eternity later now isn't that my perfect shade you cannot even tell where i have blended and where i haven't my 2016 self would be shook <laughs> right now the foundation is very versatile even in my workshops, when I used to teach makeup to people in my self-grooming workshops, I always recommended this foundation from Fit Me and this other brand, which was Herbal, if people wanted that alternative. But Fit Me was like my main jam. So it is never have I ever used color correction. I have never used color correction with green stuff, red stuff or purple stuff. But yes, I do believe in contouring. I do believe in good concealers. So there is nothing that a concealer cannot hide. When it is your shade, it will complement your skin very well. So no green, purple or red stuff. <laughs> I'm okay with skin-like tones. This is the new way of applying concealer. You just draw a little V over here and then put a line here. This way your concealer is going to look more fresher and less flashier you know what i mean what other people do is they draw an inverted triangle like this which is so 2012 and it makes your makeup look so fake and that is not the vibe that i go for so i always do this i try to use a minimum amount of stuff and get my work done you see Applying right things on right areas just gets you there. For a change, I don't need to mix in the concealer. This is my perfect shade, which is 25, called Medium Moen. This is also from Fit Me Range. Okay, go with my forehead on my chin. 
on my upper lips and a little bit connecting it to my cheek what i just did right now is highlight this area of my face leaving this area alone i'm not touching concealer over here i just highlighted the front portion of my face okay so you want to try this trick and tell me how it worked for you to seal this i'm going to apply fit me compact powder which is in the shade 310 again this is the perfect shade for my skin tone and i'm going to set it with this giant giant brush now the thing with giant brushes is that it gets your work done quicker see the powder is not looking very bright or very loud it is the perfect tone for my skin okay so our fourth question is never have i ever tried insta brows now i've tried insta brows and i got roasted for it and in the moment i did not really think that it looked bad but like it looked bad and then i started growing my brows again and now they are full and they are healthy and we are happy together wetting my angle brush with a fixer from the nude palette i'll take black and brown and black and brown and black <laughs> brown i i swear god i'm okay i'll comb my brow upward like this and then starting from the bottom line and then filling them doing your brows with powder is not at all hard like you cannot go wrong <laughs> in this while doing your brows with pomade and every other stuff you just have to make sure you draw very well and then instantly it is an arts and crafts project but with this you just have to make sure that you fill in the right spots and that's it powder brows are like so much more easier i don't know why people are so on to pomade i swear to god never have i ever tried cut crease i have tried cut crease i've done it a lot um but now i don't have that type of style or clothes that i get to do cut creases a lot i do black smoky eyes i do long and thick wings i don't play much with shadows i always play with blush and lips but today let's do it let's do a cut crease priming my eyes with a little bit of concealer obviously If you want more color from your eye shadow always use fixer on your blending brush starting from the mini palette it is called a uh, brunchil yeah a brunchil neutrals I'm going to pick up this rosy shade okay we we'll work it in the crease You see this cool elongated shape that I'm getting from my shadow it is because I used this angled brush if I've used this round brush you see the difference angled and round if I used this I wouldn't have gotten this okay using the round one gonna take this darker shade applying this shade all over my lid like this dark brown and rose dark brown and rose going to smoke the lower part of my eye okay there's a change in the plan we are not doing a cut crease <laughs> because i think the eyes are looking nice as it is and i don't want to do too much now i have three shimmer shades right here and i'm confused which one should i use i mean let's eliminate this from these two which one should i use i'm leaning towards this so let's use this applied shimmer with my finger like this and then i tapped rest of the area like this i don't know a lot about this kajal i'm using it for the first time ever called line tattoo i've used some better liners which just go like jet black in one swipe 
but okay it is not the worst thing ever i'll just use my regular one so there is not a single makeup brand in which all the products are hit like there are going to be some products which are a miss and the kajal was the miss for me but anyway moving on i'm going to apply my colossal liner now this is my regular so i know it's good when you're wearing this chamak bamak clothes and your eyes are filled with kajal do not draw a wing it looks a little bit extra the bad kind of extra so just keep it blunt it looks much nicer much politer to the people that are seeing us they wouldn't be confused looking at you because if you draw a wing there would be a lot going on you know what i mean so try a blunt liner once in a while wouldn't hurt oh and meanwhile the sixth question was never have i ever tried cat eyes now cat eyes i live in them i always do cat eyes cat eyes is the only thing that i do in life <laughs> so yes of course i tried cat eyes this mascara which is also colossal you can see the liner and mascara is matching my lashes are already long and i'm sick like i i literally hate falsy so much that i only rely on mascara i do not get the concept of like struggling so much you know sticking the lashes and then this this portion of the lash would always lift up and it just irritates the fuck out of me so i don't follow the falsies i always go with bomb mascaras and this one you can see is bomb oh the leftover goes on my brows Okay. Never have I ever skipped blush. Now blush is like the love of my life. I like blush more than I like lipstick, and that is a bold statement to give out. But yes, I said what I said. Today we are using this very light pink blush again from Fit Me in the shade thirty. Okay. So the difference with blush, without blush. this side looks more juicy right that is why i like blush so much it makes my fat face look pretty and that is all i want from life to be fat and pretty at the same time gonna quickly bronze up my face this is a bronzer from being woman absolute amaze balls on the tip of my nose it just makes my nose pinched in a little bit and i love it ooh ooh ladies and gentlemen i am going to apply my first ever highlighter called master chrome from maybelline here it is i've already tried it and i love it so much that i cannot even tell you and by the way it is called molten gold it is literally molten gold oh my god show you the highlighter i'm going to grab one of the stars and put it right on my face i am one of the persons who don't use ring light in their videos yeah i'm like over ring light now Ring light just, you know, makes fake promises to audiences. I don't want to use it. Nose a little shine. And so light and so shiny. Oh my god. Never have I ever overlined my lips. Now, that depends on the lipstick. 
if I'm using cream lipstick, I'm just going to dab it on my lips like this with my finger and let it stay like a tint. But if it's a liquid lipstick, for sure I'm overlining my lips. It looks so luscious and so real, like why not? I'm using Superstay Matte Ink from Maybelline, of course. And the shade is 08 Ruler. Suits me, huh? We just played Never Have I Ever with Mabel in New York. I gave you lots and lots of new tips and tricks to try. Please try them and let me know how it worked for you. Comment down below your favorite product from Mabel that you use. Thank you so much for watching. Lots of love.